Hey friends, Rebecca Austin here with another quick Kajabi tutorial. Now in this video, we are going to dive into Kajabi forms. Forms are used for a lot of different things, more, most often for things like registration pages and opt-in pages, where we can collect data from our audience and then use that data to trigger other automations. The cool thing is though that we don't have to just limit ourselves to name and email address. We can actually add other data that you may want, including custom data. Now the benefit of the custom data is we can use this for a lot of different things. One example is if you're doing a webinar or a live event and you want to do a registration page where someone opts in, they get their name on the list, but then they also select which date they want to attend. Then attached to each date, they get a specified email that goes along with that date. And we can do that with the power of Kajabi custom fields and automations. Another example might be if you're just collecting specific data on pre-qualifying that person prior to following up with them and then customizing the type of follow-up sequence that you may be doing with them. And we do that in a similar way where we have our form and then create custom fields and then we can attach automations to that. So let's jump on into Kajabi and I'll show you how we do it. So here's one example of a webinar registration page for one of my clients. What they have is their video, which is always recommended. And then there are, of course, all the benefits and then they have the date options. And when we click on register, what you'll notice is then they enter their name and email address and then select the date that they want to attend. And then once they get the selection, it triggers a specific email automation sequence that goes along with these specific dates so that they get the correct webinar login. So let's go into exactly how to do that. And if you're using it for other things like your um, customization for pre-qualifying leads or anything else, we're going to do it very similarly. So let's jump on over to the specifics on the back office. Okay, so I'm over in our Kajabi dashboard. This is my practice site for demonstration purposes. And we are going to go to marketing and then forms. Or in our Kajabi Assistant, remember you can always type in what you're looking for up here in the Kajabi Assistant and it'll take you right there. So you don't have to try and remember which of the four categories, website, products, marketing, or people, that what you're looking for is falling into. We can just go up here to our Kajabi Assistant and we can type in forms. And then it'll bring us an option for a new opt-in form or a new form field. So what we're wanting to do is a new um, form. Then we're going to title our form. And then just like any other form field, we have our basic form fields, which tells you what is there. We have our name and email, and we can add form fields. We can either select an existing field or we can create a new field. So if we're adding um, an existing field, typically the default, you can have them enter their address and then any other custom fields that you may have already created. Most of the time, in the, if that's your first time, we're going to create a new field. We're going to title the field. Now the field that your title is, this is an external title. So this is essentially what your leads or your customers are going to see when they opt into their form or they click on the form. So you want to word this in such a way to where it is act being very specific of what you are wanting it to say. So if we're doing it for a webinar registration, it might be something like what date and time would you like to attend? Then we're going to select the type of custom field that this is. So there's several different types that Kajabi offers. We have a text where they can actually type in an answer. They can type in a phone number, an email address, a text area, checkbox, select box, radio bun buttons, and country. Now with the select box and radio buttons, a select box only allows you to 
um, checkbox allows you to enter one. A select box allows you to enter more than one. So if you're wanting them to be able to select more than one option, this is the one they would select. And then radio buttons is the one that we want if we're going to do something like this where we have automations and they select and then they, they have that automation sequence that goes with it. It just works the best with radio buttons, especially because radio buttons only allows you to select one answer. And that's very important on something like selecting a date. So in this case, we're gonna do our radio buttons and then we're going to enter our choices. The choices you want to put each on a separate line. So in this case, we'll just say, let me put some dates in here. And we wanna make sure that we have exactly the way that it's written here. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll put it onto a clipboard. And that way then we can just paste it into our automations when we get to that point. Otherwise you can just open a separate tab. Sometimes you can just copy and paste by going into another tab. And then in this case, we want to make sure that this is required field so that they have to select at least one date since we don't want them to just skip this part. So we wanna make sure we mark it as a required field and then click save. If you wanna add additional form fields or if you have other questions or customization or data that you wanna collect, we can continue to do that here. And that way then you have everything that you want to collect on that opt-in or registration form. So for example, one time I was working um, on a client's form fields and she was doing a live event and it was specifically where it was for a, ten, a parent child type of live event. And so we added form fields for the names and ages of the children. So that was a text form field where they could type that information in. That way she had that information for the live event. Uh, you can have a wide range of information, just basically sky's the limit, whatever information that you need to collect from that person, you can do that. Now, the key is then the cool automations that we can add along with these form fields. So in this selection, if we're doing like a webinar registration, if they're attending on one date, we want them to get the registration emails um, for that particular e webinar. And then if they're attending on another date, then we want to make sure they get the emails that go with that date because that has the links to the webinar page or to the replays and all that kind of thing. So we wanna make sure we keep everything straight and separate. So the way that we do that is we go down here to add automation. And when the form is submitted, we're going to subscribe to an email sequence and then you'll have an email sequence specifically for that particular um, webinar or that particular date so in this case, we're going to do, um, I don't have one set up specifically for this sequence, but we'll just select an email sequence. In this case, you would make sure it's the email that goes with that registration date. However, we want to add a condition because we don't want it to go out automatically to anyone and everyone who registers. We only want it to go out to those who selected that particular radio button. So we add a condition and then select our filter. We go all the way down to our custom filters to the what date and time would you like to attend? And we wanna make sure that that contains the uh, January 1st at five o'clock p.m. Then add apply. And now we have the automation set up and then click save. So now we have, if they select the first date, then they'll get this email sequence. And then you can add continual automations for each one of the dates that you have set up. Same condition applies that if you're doing this for, if they answer yes, then get 
this particular email sequence. If they answer no, then get this particular email sequence. We would set it up the same way. So you would do your form field radio buttons, create what answers you want to show up, and then you would create the automations that go along with each one of those. So it may be to grant an offer. It may be to send a coupon code. It may be to um, do any number of different automations that are available within Kajabi. So you can be really creative and have it set up to do exactly what you want it to do. And that's how we set this up within the form fields. On the registration page, then all you have to do is direct them to this form and then it just has everything right in the form. Of course, inside your form, you can always do the other things that um, typically you would have available. We can send them to a custom thank you page. So if we're delivering for a, a webinar, then you may want to have a thank you page that then takes them to instructions to make sure you a little video where remember to save the date turn off your phone, all of those kind of things that you can have as just little reminders and build that excitement for the event that's coming up. You can send to a third party provider. So if you're using an external email system on the data that's collected, their name and email address, you can send that to the third party as well and then send notifications if you want that. Then of course, every time that we're done, then we wanna click save and then our custom fields and our custom forms are now ready to go to be able to put that into whatever it is that you're trying to create to capture that special data on your audience. And that's pretty much all there is to creating custom fields and forms inside Kajabi to be able to customize it the way that you need it for your specific purposes. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you are interested in more information about Kajabi and Kajabi tutorials and learning how to use it in new and innovative ways, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay on top of all of the latest videos as we release them. Now we also have on our website at striveforsavvy.com more information about our Kajabi mentorship programs and our done for you services. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Kajabi and growing your business.